guys, what's up? My name is Michael and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make money on YouTube with affiliate marketing. All right, guys, so I actually created a new blog post right here called how you can make money from YouTube without using AdSense. Uh, but I, I should have probably called it how you can make money from YouTube using a sneaky trick uh, that will make you tons of money. So um, I'm talking a little bit about like how you can, can make some money renting out your YouTube videos and stuff like this. But this is not what I want to talk about in this particular video right here. Uh, what I want to teach you right here is how you can take advantage of products, uh, that digital products that have not actually been launched yet. So, and you probably ask yourself the question, uh, why would I promote a product that has not even been launched yet, right? And I can tell you why. The reason is uh, because there's not much competition out there, right? Because what most people try to do is when, when they try to promote affiliate products on YouTube, they are uh, searching for products uh, that are already popular uh, and, and they're already famous and stuff and they want to promote them and they think they will earn a high commission, which is probably true. But you also have to understand that it's so hard to rank a product or to rank a video promoting a product that's already in the marketplace for years or something, right? So what you want to do is uh, you want to go to a site called um, Warrior uh, JV and there you will find uh, I will actually put the links in the description, by the way, and there you will find a list of products uh, that will be launched soon or have recently been launched, as you can see right here. And there are actually quite a few things that you have to consider uh, before you decide which product to promote, right? Um, you should go for something that has not been launched yet. And um, generally, I use something that's launching in around uh, two weeks plus. So. And you should also think about, or you should also also look for a product that, that has a large price money, right? Hey guys, what's up? My name is Michael, and in this video, I'm gonna be sure you can make money here. Uh, what I wanna teach you right here is digital products that have not actually been launched yet. So, and you probably ask yourself the question, uh, why would I promote a product that has not even been launched yet, right? And I can tell you why. The reason is... Can you hear me? Just a second. Okay, great. Uh, so, Amy will be just starting in a while. I'm waiting for other students to join in. Just uh, let's start in another five minutes, okay? Okay, no problem. Okay? Okay. Okay, right, right. I'll keep you on mute, okay? And in case you have any query, you can type in in the chat window. Okay, but where is the chat? Uh, you can find in the panel, there's a chat button or if you click on more, then you get an option of chat. This no option, okay. Did you find it? No, this... Uh... When I scroll it, this DMP logo and this. no, it's not there. You'll get to see chat button, chat option, or can you see more, more? Okay, 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 I've got. Okay, great. So I'm putting this you on mute. Raise, raise hand and disconnect audio, and then participant yeah. share. Which one? Okay, disconnect audio. Yeah, you, your I can see your video. You can disconnect that if you want. Okay. Okay. Can you now type in? Hello. Oh. Guys, can you hear me? Hi, Ayushi.
can you guys all hear me i can hear some music at the back end uh hello everyone can you all hear me please type in in the chat window i can see ami is there ayushi is there and one person uh where name is not coming and it shows hp please type in your name great ami thanks for your response hp please uh, write in your uh, name in the chat window and uh, you can you guys can disconnect your webcam also ayushi can you see the chat option guys Okay. Hi, Mama. Hi, uh, Palvi. Guys, don't unmute yourself, please. I'm muting you guys. Uh, it's happening on itself. We're not doing. Oh, okay. I don't yeah. know. Okay. Hello, hi, Palvi. Guys, let's start with a brief introduction. Would be great if you can uh, start typing in your introduction, like uh, who are you and what you are doing currently, and why you want to pursue this course. Hello. Hello. Please type in in the chat window. Okay. Uh, Palvi. Okay. Hi. I'm Ayushi. I'm in first year student doing a BBA in Chandigarh. Okay. Great, Ayushi. Good to know that. And why you want to pursue this course? Like, why you want to do this course of digital marketing? Hi. I'm uh, Ami Kothari. Hi, uh, what are you doing right now, Ami? And let me know why you want to pursue this course. Okay, and I want the similar answers from Pallavi. 
and uh, there is one more person whose name is not showing and it shows hp please uh, let me know your full name hi krishan welcome to the session kayor please type in hope everyone can hear me properly please write in yes 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 if you guys can hear me hi kayor please uh, type in uh, your brief introduction and why you want to pursue this course hello krishan uh, this is palvi here completed my graduation in bsc the reason pursue this course as now things are happening online from shopping to education great great okay uh, we have the other candidate by the name of sabia sheikh sabia hello welcome to the session please type in the your brief introduction why you want to pursue this course Okay, Kayur or uh, Thakur, right? And what are you doing right now, Kayur? And why you want to? I want to pursue this course because of I want to earn money from online. Okay, I'm doing job. Okay, in which sector are you working right now, Kayur? Ah, uh, we have Sabia. Sabia, please type in your brief introduction. Okay, you are into insurance. Great, Kayur. Thanks for your introduction. Thanks, Palvi. and thanks ayushi ami please type in your introduction and krishn please you do the same okay great Okay, I learned SEO skills on internet. I'm interested. This course, please tell the how it has worked. Sure, Krishn, I'm here to tell you guys like how it will work. Okay. Sabia, ah, uh, can you hear me? Sabia, please type in your brief introduction. Okay, I want to join this course because I'm interested in digital marketing. Great, and why? Ah, uh, what are you doing right now? Hi, Muhammad Asif. Please type in your brief introduction, Muhammad. Okay. Okay, great, Sabia. Great. Thank you, everyone, for your brief introduction. Really good to know you guys. And uh, only one person is pending right now who wants to who needs to introduce. That is Asif. Asif, please introduce yourself. Krishna, you can uh, like close the webcam because uh, webcam will not is not required. It's up to you. Okay. Okay, guys. So right now you are into session with uh, Preeti Bhatla. This is Preeti. I'll just type in here. okay great so uh, i'm from digital marketing patshala and i'll be uh, 
give give imparting or giving you training on digital marketing I've been into this from past 7 years now and i've worked in the industry where i've worked with many clients and helped them out in uh, meeting their requirements such as running their google ad campaigns doing seo for them and running social media campaigns so i have worked for many clients big clients and uh, it's been more than 2 years now that i've been imparting training on digital marketing earlier i used to do face to face and now i've been starting from online sessions okay in case you guys have any query then you can please type in in the chat window i'm here to answer all your queries which is related to digital marketing right okay great moving ahead i hope you all understand like what is digital marketing yes guys you all understand what is digital marketing yeah okay great great a little okay so digital marketing is the form of marketing marketing your product or services through electronic device or through a online medium or internet medium it is also called electronic medium because any marketing activity which is done through mobile laptop or uh, you can say desktop tablets because these are all form of electronic devices that is the reason it is called electronic marketing okay so what's the difference between marketing and digital marketing who is going to tell me please type in in the chat window a difference between marketing and digital marketing marketing is done face to face actually marketing is basically done through offline medium which is yeah direct relation or it can be done through tv radio the campaigns which run on radio yes radio newspaper the, these are all traditional way of marketing okay whereas digital marketing is the modern way of marketing is door to door marketing is through computer digital marketing is through computer yes rightly said sabia is done on internet exactly so it is also called internet marketing digital marketing online marketing and electronic marketing yes so earlier people used to market their products and services through uh, radio through newspaper through tv right but they uh, they used to just market the product they have just run the campaign and they don't know how many people have actually viewed it whether the information or the awareness has actually reached to their target audience or not right but here when you do through digital marketing here you can track each and every nitty gritty of the campaign right you can reach to your target audience you can specify your target audience based on the geographic location based on the specific interest okay based on their uh, you can say age gender things okay so this is how digital marketing is different from traditional way of marketing here you can measure and here you can see what return on investment you are getting okay any doubt guys hope i'm making some sense is it getting clear please type in yes okay great ami thanks for your quick response thanks kya thanks abhya thanks ayushi hope you got the difference between traditional way of marketing and the modern way of marketing right which is through online great so moving ahead this is what marketing is all about i'm going to tell you what we are going to cover here in our uh, sessions okay so 
in our first first segment in our very first segment we will tell you how you can design your website see for any um to work or to sell anything let's say you start selling a product or services to your target audience to your customers for that you need to need to have a shop okay or an office from where you can operate in offline world okay but similarly in, if you go online and if you want to sell any product or services through online medium for that you need a website so for that first thing is your having your website in place okay having your website we for a website we need two major things one is the domain name and the second thing is the hosting domain name what is domain name domain name is the address okay i'll just tell you okay great uh let's say this is um, if i type here any website name this is ngtv.com this is the address this is domain name okay this is called domain name clear hope many of you might be aware of this so for having website online for at first you need the domain okay and it will be unique for each and every website it will be unique secondly you need to have a hosting see whenever you open any office or you buy any property for or you buy a property for your shop from where you can operate okay uh is the part of domain name yes it is a part of domain name see this is the which is which is going to be unique www is is just the uh this is needs to be unique like facebook is unique right and ndtv is unique times of india is unique okay yeah www dot will remain same common for every website but what unique is going to be the name let's say amazon is unique okay behind this this is the address like 192168.1.1 this is actually the address but many people will not be able to remember this that is the reason they assign a name to this address okay got it okay clear great okay thank you guys so this is the domain so yeah as i was saying for any office or any shop you need a property okay you need a space similarly in online world also you need a space for, that is called hosting okay so for having a website domain name hosting is required clear in our uh, dmp like there are many content management systems available earlier how website used to be built through coding any one of you knows coding any one of you knows coding how to create website through coding like php java html okay yeah so that was a very difficult part in earlier days but now we have content management system in which we don't need to have we don't need to know the coding skills okay content management system websites will actually help you to create website without any coding okay so we have like wordpress we have magento we have open cart we have zoomla there are many open uh, cms available nowadays but the wordpress is the most reliable one and the most used one many big websites are built on wordpress technology so here at dmp we are going to tell you how you can create website on wordpress okay if i show you our own website which is uh, digital dm patshala 
hope many of you have already visited this website. This website is also built on WordPress and many, um, you know, um, I would say shopping websites are built on WordPress. Okay, so here we are going to tell you how you can create or design your website on WordPress. Okay, so for our students like to start with, we, we, we are going to give you one website domain name and hosting free for one year. And for WordPress, there are many free templates are available, but they do not have all the functionalities. Okay, so that is the reason we give you paid theme which has majorly all the functionalities which are required to create a website, a healthy website, I would say, or structured website. Okay, so we are going to give you one paid theme free of cost, which is of 3000 rupees. This we are going to give you free of cost. Okay, guys. Guys, any doubt till here? Okay, thank you. Amy, uh, have you guys ever heard about WordPress earlier? Any one of you ever heard about WordPress? Yes, Sabia, great. So have you created any website on WordPress or are you just aware of it? Okay, no, okay, okay. Okay, great, Palvi, good to know that. Okay, Sabia, great, good to know that. You guys have a website. Great. So, moving ahead, in a second segment, we are going to cover the promotion activities. Like once you have a shop, once you have an office, or now in online world, I talk about website. Once you have a website, we need to promote it. We need to make our audience aware that we exist. Okay, and we offer this, this product and services. Please come and buy from us, right? And for that, we need to do some promotional activities, okay? So we will first start with search engine marketing. So please guys tell me what is search engine? Please tell me what is search engine? Yeah. Any other search engine you guys know? Google is one of them, yes. Please guys respond Yahoo, right? Search engine, I'm just talking about search engine, Bing, yes. Okay, so we have search engines like Google, Bing, Yahoo, Ask.com. Yes, YouTube is also search engine where we search videos, correct, Palvi? So mostly, more than 70% of the audience use Google. Okay, so we are going to focus on Google because major majority of audience use Google to search any query. Okay. So our first thing is search engine marketing. Okay, so any promotional activity which is done on search engine it is called search engine marketing. Clear? Yes. Great, Sabia. So here... Uh, Let's say I have a query. I want to buy iPhone 7. Okay. This is my search query. And here is the search page. Okay. This is called search engine result page. S-E-R-P. Search engine result page because it shows me results of my query. This is called search query okay for me but person who is going to work or run a campaign for that person it becomes keyword okay so this is keyword is a very important word guys which we are going to learn about in our future classes okay so buy iphone 7 is my query okay and i've got this result 
So can you see this sponsored word here? Sponsored. That means for this we are paying amount to Google and it is paid ad. This is paid. Paid ad, yes. They are also called PPC, which is pay per click ad. This is also called Google ads. Okay. So we can, I'll just show you the other ad. Can you see this ad, op, ad coming here? Ad written here, text. Yes, Google AdWords. This is also paid ad. Where ad is written, right? Where ad is written or sponsored is written, that means they are paid ads. Okay. Now the ads which comes with image and the price attached to it, they are called product listing ads, PLA. Product listing ads and they are also called shopping ads because you can buy from here. Okay, by clicking on this product, you can make purchase and it is showing the image and price. So they are called product listing ads and or shopping ads. Clear guys? Any doubt? They are called product listing ads. or shopping ads okay and the other ad where no image and no price is coming they are called text ads only text is written here only text okay they are called text ads clear Uh, you can't see my messages. There is some problem. Can you see it now? Okay, great. And shopping ads. Okay, great, great. Hope it makes sense. Uh, you can, I can share the document with you, not a problem. Okay, great. So, so we have in uh, web, website promotion, first thing we are going to do is search engine marketing. In search engine, within search engine, we have PPC, which is pay per click ads. It's also called Google AdWords and they are called paid ads, okay? And within that, we have two type of ads. One is the product listing ads, which is PLA, and they are also called shopping ads. And then we have text ads. Clear, guys? Clear? Moving ahead, yes. So <clears throat> now who is going to tell me about other thing which is search engine optimization, SEO. Have you guys heard about SEO? What is SEO? Okay, great, KU, please tell me what is SEO. Anyone else who knows what is SEO, please type in here in the chat window. Oh, I see it's a three letter. Oh, 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 okay. Have you copy and paste it from somewhere? Yeah, we are not here to do that. Okay. 
I just need to check your uh, like how much you know about it. Okay, please don't Google it and copy it and paste it here. Okay. Yeah, so SEO is basically any website name which is coming through natural or organic activities for that we are not paying anything to Google. Okay, guys, we are not paying any amount to Google to rank on Google page. Okay, we are just performing or making our website more relevant, more reliable right? to rank on Google page one. That is the reason they are also called organic listing, natural listing, unpaid listing, free listing. So SEO is basically organic listing, unpaid listing, free listing, and they are also called natural listing. Okay, because for that, we are not paying any amount to Google. We are performing some activities on our website or making our website more relevant, I would say which makes Google to rank it on page one. Okay. Is it clear now? Hope you understand the difference. And you can also see yeah. Okay. Thank you, Amy. You also see no add but button or add text will be written here. Great. Thank you, Sabya. So the listings where no ad is written, they are coming through SEO activities. Okay. They are coming through SEO activities and they will always be 10 on every page. SEO listing will be 10 in number 10 listings on every search engine result page S E R P. Okay. Yeah, Ayushi, I think so. That can be a that can be a option. I don't know about other people whether they are facing the same problem. Guys, are you facing the same problem? Hope the screen is clear to you guys. Okay, okay. So yeah, Ayushi, that might be a case in your. Uh, is it owned by Google? No. Uh, what? What uh, are you talking about? Ads thing or SEO thing, Pallavi? Pallavi has a question like, is it owned by Google or itself? SEO, no. SEO is not owned by Google. SEO, like Google has some algorithms, right? Some rules and regulations that website owners need to keep in mind while building their website or creating their website. Okay. Based on that only your website will rank, but it is not owned by Google. But Google has all the authority to whether rank your website or not rank your website based on the content of your website. If it is relevant, if it is making sense to the audience, then definitely Google will rank it. Okay. Yes. Content is the king here. If your content is relevant and the people are is actually looking for it, it is fresh, then definitely Google will rank it. Okay. Great. Thank you, Palvi. Okay, guys, clear. So yeah, as I told you that uh, in search engine marketing, we are going to talk about PPC and then SEO because SEO is also part of search engine. And it is also called organic listing, unpaid listing, free listing, natural listing, and they are 10 on every page, 10 on every page. Okay. Uh, for SEO has got two things. One is the on page and off page. Off page is also called link building where you build links and relationships with outside world. Okay. So uh, when we do SEO, that is part of that is going to be part of our syllabus. Okay. 
on page activity i'll just brief you what it is any activity that we perform on our website okay to make it more relevant this is also called relevancy okay because we are going to make our website more relevant for google to rank okay that is the reason it is called relevancy the off page it is also called popularity because here we are going to make our website more popular by getting more links building more links with outside website like other websites okay which will give us more popularity so if your website is more popular and it is relevant then google will rank it and in my classes i will tell you how you will do on page and off page activities okay any doubt no thank you sabya for your response thank you palvi okay uh, moving ahead now display ad okay okay now who is going to tell me what is display ad yes ko it is very much must in a uh, website because that helps google to locate any changes in your website that is taking place and it is the place from where google picks the information pop ups okay pop ups from where you are uh, ami somewhere around but to make it more clear visual ads okay where do you get to see those ads okay one is the search ad which comes on the search engine basically which is like google uh google and bing you uh, yahoo okay whereas the ads that you get to see on any other website are called display ads no that is different ads between youtube videos that is different we are going to talk about that in our youtube marketing class so i'm talking about here display ads display ads are those ads which you get to see on any other website they are not coming on search engine okay search engine is different like google is different and these websites are different so any ad which shows on websites they are called display ads they are also called banner ads okay so this can you see this vivo ad which is coming on ndtv.com yes <clears throat> so this ad is the display ad this this is the complete display partner network okay yeah ad can be like banner ad audio a uh, video ad text ad three type of ads can be shown i'll just here video ad text and or image ad okay yes clear the difference between search ads and the display ads great moving ahead so here are uh, there are four parties are involved here if i talk about display ad there are four parties one is the publisher the advertiser agency and the visitor okay so publisher who is the publisher here a website who is displaying the information or running the ad is the publisher right clear guys so here ndtv is the publisher here if i talk about ndtv is the publisher 
Mm, free of cost. What is free of cost? Can you please uh, let me know what you're talking about free of cost? Means not to pay. Where? Where are we not paying? No, if we put any banners, we are the publisher, we are, we are the website owner and we have the space on our website where we want to run the of others affiliate link in our website. Let's not confuse, we are not talking about anything related to affiliate here. Let's not confuse here. We are not talking about affiliate. We are talking about display partner network. Right now, I'm just talking about the publisher here. Uh, NDTV is the publisher who has the space on, his, on its website and they want to earn money and how they are going to earn money through advertisements, right guys? Through advertisements only they can earn money. So NDTV is the... Okay, sorry. So we are basically uh, talking about all the promotional activities. Yes, we are talking about all the way through which we can promote, whether it's search engine or through other websites. Yes, Ayushi, you are right. Uh, Ami, you can't hear me promo uh, properly. Is it with everyone? Or only Ami is facing a problem with my voice? Promote, I can hear you. Okay, great, Ayushi, thank you. Um, promote our website, yes. We are talking about how you can promote your website. Firstly, you can promote on search engine, like you can run your ads paid ads or you can do the SEO of your website and now we are talking about how you can show ads on other website okay Amy might be a problem uh, at your end please check and get here okay Ayushi is it clear now to you Yes. Okay, great. So here, uh, NDTV is the publisher, right? And they want to run the ad. Because uh, like they have the space and they want to earn money. Okay, so how they will inform? Okay. Is it uh, everyone facing problem with my voice? Please confirm because on Ami only you are saying this and uh, else everyone is okay. Okay, thank you Shivam. Thank you Ayushi. Okay, thank you Palvi. Please uh, Ami check at your end. Right? So when I have a website and I want to publish the ad there, I will go to Google AdSense. Have you guys ever heard about Google AdSense? See, Google, there are many products by Google, like Google Business, Google Places, Google Maps, Google Translate, Gmail, YouTube, they are all Google Shopping. They are all by Google. Similarly, Google AdSense is also by Google where publisher go and publish their about their website or register their website they that they want to run the ads on their website as there is a space. Okay, there are some conditions that we are going to talk about later in our classes, uh, how you can meet those conditions. Okay, before uh, having the ads which will run on your website. 
so here uh, the other party is the advertiser advertiser is the person who is going to run the ad okay so here we have vivo not big basket vivo is our is the first uh, company who is running ad and how they are running ad they are they have registered or created ad on google adwords okay so when you want to run ads on your website then you go to google adsense and register your website okay here ndtv and big basket would share their visitors here uh, see ndtv has their own visitors already where and people who is coming to ndtv website they might click on the big basket ad right if they click on the advertisement then advertiser will pay to google and ndtv will get its uh, share clear it's pop it's on click okay oh uh, is publisher oh i didn't get you ku can you please type in again chitika bid advertiser is publisher chitika who is chitika ku i'm not clear about your question please type in again you talking about big basket uh is there a website by this name agency uh not clear about your question if we put adsense ad in our website see you will uh, for that if you have website and if it is 6 months old you can go on google adsense adsense and register your website and then ads will come automatically will start showing on your website it's not on your website click it's click on the ad see it's i'm on the ndtv the website and i'm the visitor of ndtv here and i like this ad and i want to buy this product which is vivo in if i click on this ad okay on clicking this ad vivo is going to pay to google okay and google will then pay to ndtv their share for showing this ad okay is it clear is it clear to everyone so if i show you our own website which is dmp path dmp path shala this is our own website and we are the let's say i'm the publisher of this and i want to run the ad and i have registered this website on google adsense okay google adsense i have registered through which i am getting this advertisement this is email access online.com this is ad which is a text ad basically okay yes google ads by google so this person has created ad by going on to google adwords email access online.com has gone to google adwords yes clear is it clear it's a complete partner network where we have a publisher we have the advertiser we have the agency or the mediator and the visitor who is going to visit
okay publisher is the ndtv because uh, owner is the ndtv of the web of the website is the ndtv then advertiser is the vivo company who is running the ad and how they are running the ad through google because ndtv has registered on google adsense and vivo has created ad on google adwords okay clear in detail we are going to cover this how we can create google adwords or oh, sorry how we can create display ads using google adwords in our later sections okay clear till here yes thank you emmy hope i'm clear like uh, my voice is clear vivo has to pay to google then further google will share the part with ndtv yes that's true vivo will pay to google and google will then share with ndtv yes you are right palvi let's say 100 rupees 100 uh, rupees will be uh, uh, is on pay per click and if we vivo gets one click it will they will pay 100 rupees to google and out of which 68% right 68 rupees approximately it is not uh, disclosed openly but what we get to know is 68% impressions is nothing now impressions uh or uh, is not there now it, it doesn't exist any more okay or it's only on pay per click now earlier it used to be cmp which is uh, through 100 views or 1000 impressions but now it doesn't exist google has stopped impressions thank you palvi thanks for your appreciation okay any other question or shall we move move forward so moving ahead uh, then we have the other topic which we are going to do is social media marketing hope you everyone knows about what social media is you guys are or must be there on facebook linkedin twitter how many of you are there on linkedin any one of you on linkedin it's a professional network and it really helps you in getting good jobs okay great good palvi so for b2b like for business to business linkedin is more linkedin is more used okay on facebook you can create a business page and you can create promote your business page on and on facebook you get to see number of ads right so this is my facebook page let's say sorry it's working bit slow mm. okay you might have seen this ads let's say this high performance okay no this is my post just to say system is getting slow down how many segments are there okay i'm going to tell you wait have you guys seen uh, ads on the right hand side panel you might have seen i can't scroll it's hang actually yes great sabia thanks for your response and some ads also come within news feed okay so uh, we are going to tell you how you can create those ads you can create ads between news feed you can create ads on right hand which are shown on right hand side they are also called rhs ads okay because it's called right hand side ads 
so i'm going to tell you how you can add on twitter pen interest instagram similarly you can also create ads on linkedin you can create business page so we are going to cover social media marketing okay then we have email marketing email marketing is the most cheapest form of marketing online okay here you can reach number of people in through one email you guys might be receiving n number of emails through uh, websites like amazon flipkart jbong mantra or snap deal right so what they are doing is they are reaching you through emails right they keep on informing you like we are coming up with this sale even colleges yes exactly like shiksha.com many other right so they keep on bugging us but this is the most cheapest form of marketing so if i take an example here let's say uh, one company has sent 5000 emails okay 5000 emails they have sent to the contacts out of which might be a probability that 100 people will open it okay okay 100 will open only 100 this i'm taking very minimum 5000 emails have been sent out of which 100 will open right 100 will open out of which 50 will click and click and come on landing page okay landing page okay you receive email in your inbox you open it let's say you open it and if you click you will reach on the landing page inform us about cashback offers exactly on time to time offers on mails everything promotional offers exactly for me and if we open it and let's say only 10 people will buy sorry Ten will buy the product or service, whatever the person is offering. So see, we have got ten purchases, right? What we have done is we have spent so less, which is very minimum amount on per email, and we have got ten purchases. Okay, so which is uh, at the end, it is very good conversion, I would say. mail jet you're talking about mail jet okay we are going to cover mail chimp this is very much renowned tool which is available where we can send a number of emails like for mass emailing mail chimp is used most yes so we are going to cover mail chimp okay clear guys so number 1 the cheapest form is email marketing and number 2 is the seo or number 2 search engine optimization is number 2 okay this just for your information then we have youtube marketing okay or you might be aware you guys like people are doing lot many things on youtube any un ma'am under which whatsapp whatsapp uh, will not be included because on whatsapp uh, there is no ad that can be done we can't run ads on whatsapp right it's just you can make videos and send to your group and further they can send the groups further 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 that's it yeah you can have channels you can have group okay so going to youtube yes okay you have channel great ko i thought you're talking about whatsapp <laughs> okay so yeah similarly good to know that you have a channel on youtube so this is youtube
so people are making good amount of money by monetizing their video yes i have great great ku so you can have your own channel i'm going to tell you how you can have the channel on youtube how you can promote you can do seo of your videos okay <clears throat> let's say we have a channel oh, have you guys heard about bb wines many of you okay okay guys you have heard and that person is making really good amount of money and he's quite young so she will tell you how you can make the channel to your videos okay for the with session and you can see that we are having the ads which are coming on our website and how we are getting monetized a management needs to be there Just if we see a particular website do you guys and uh, sorry i mean you guys would be all knowing that there is always is a particular navigation Which is being uh, used. Is What exactly do you mean slow. by a navigation, guys? You know, uh, click picture uh, and upload them in Pinterest, and upload videos. You know, click shoot videos for five or ten seconds and. Try uploading them on YouTube. That'll give you a good overview. Actually, okay. So see, what I was telling you about. Coming from. All right. So I started recording the session so that I can give you the recording at a later stage. Mm, hope you got my point. I'll just. right no, so all the uh, no, i'm just coming right now okay so you get to see number of kind of ads which come when you run a video right so we are going to tell you how those ads will be created yeah very le uh, uh not much is left ayushi okay so we have got like youtube marketing where we are going to tell you how you can create the channel and how we uh, you can create different kind of ads video ads like skippable ad and non skippable ad so we are going to talk about that in our uh, sessions okay and how you can monetize your videos and how you can do seo of your videos okay that's what we are going to cover in youtube marketing next is the mobile marketing mobile marketing in mobile marketing we are going to tell you about how you can create ads which comes in between applications right there are many ads which comes in apps when you run any app or load any new app you get to see number of ads so we are going to cover that in detail then we have analytics okay google analytics means you can see the analysis you can do the website the campaign you have got roi you have got which is return on investment the amount that you have invested whether you have got it or not okay okay this is your channel ko okay i'll show it later ayushi is actually okay google analytics is a tool by google which actually helps you
to give you analysis of your website, right? Where your website is right now, how many visitors you are getting, how many views you are getting, how many sessions you are getting, okay? And if you're running any campaign, you can uh, do the analysis of your campaign also, Niru. Okay. So Google gives all that information. Which we are going to cover in our sessions. I'll teach you about Google Analytics, how you study the analysis. Okay. So the last segment, this is all the part of uh, the promotional activities that we have covered right now. And in our last session, we are going to cover how you can earn money. Okay. How you can earn money. One, you can earn money through Google AdSense that I have told you, like you can have your own website and you can register that website on Google AdSense and ads will come and run on your website. Okay, then next is the affiliate. How many of you? Hey, Amy, you're not, not getting my voice. Sorry, guys, let me just check. Oh, okay, sorry. Is it clear now? Okay, Kayo, thank you. Thank you, Amy. Thank you. Sorry, guys, uh, for my voice. So I'm, I was just talking about uh, Google AdSense. Okay, AdSense is basically having your own website and you can register that website on Google AdSense and earn money out of it. Okay. Whereas now I want to know what is affiliate marketing. Have you guys ever heard about affiliate marketing? Affiliate marketing. How many of you know about affiliate? What is affiliate marketing? Okay. AdSense, as I told you, don't know. Okay. Coming back to, okay, Ayushi, I'll just repeat AdSense for you. Can you see this website, the Empath Shala? This is my one of my website, okay, Digital Marketing Panchala. So now I've got this website where I want, from where I want to earn money, okay? So if I also talk about NDTV, how NDTV will make money? They are giving us so much news, so many things like we, they are keeping us up to date, right? And they're spending a lot of money on that. How they are going to earn money? They are going to earn through advertisements, right? So ha they have this uh, website and they will invite advertisers, but they can't go directly, okay, to each one of them. That is the reason NDTV will first register on Google AdSense. Okay, Google has that tool where you can register on AdSense. And once you register, you will start receiving the advertisements on your website. Okay, let's say I'm DM Panchala. I want to run an ad on news channel. Okay, because many students read news, okay, related to education, so many things. And I want to run ads on news channel. So Google will give me that option to select news and they can they give me the option to select the website also. I can select NDTV, I can select Times of India, I can select ABP news, any news where I want to show my ad. Okay. Is it clear now? So NDTV will make money out of it. Through AdSense, that is called AdSense. Because they, they are, Vivo is going to pay money to Google and Google will going to pay money to NDTV. Okay, Vivo is going to pay money. Clear now, Ayushi? Anyone else that having a doubt on AdSense? Okay, great, thank you, Ayushi. 
to promote product okay uh, so now coming back to affiliate marketing yes you are right ku to promote product and we will get commission out of it so uh, for other students i'll just tell you in brief first first tell me about offline world okay how uh, in offline uh, this affiliate marketing works have you guys heard about oriflame amway avon yes how they do like how they work amway people comes to you and they ask you to become their distributor and sell their products and get commission out of it exactly multi level marketing give membership and and if i am a member of amway and i'm selling their product further whatever the products are sold through me i will get commission of it right is it right exactly similarly oriflame does the same thing oriflame also makes members or distributors they ask them their distributors to sell, sell their products and get commission out of it uh sabya if i want to promote some educational website then that website have to pay yes if you are promoting some educational website and if they get some registration through you then they will give you some commission clear yes so in offline world mv is making people as a distributor and giving commission to them similarly in online world also the same thing is happening where a uh, amazon flipkart many big companies are making affiliates and if we sell their products yes ebay if and if we sell their products they are going to pay us the commission have you heard about coupon dunia yes trivago you know trivago trivago has no product of their own they are just promoting other company or hotels or i would say other companies like make my trip booking.com clear.com yes yes so if i search here Let's say I search holiday in Delhi. I'll select dates. Check out. Oh, so can you see this? They're showing booking dot com, clear trip dot com, Zen hotels, and if I click on booking dot com, it they will it will land me to booking dot com page, right? and if i book hotel from there then trivago will get the commission clear yes those portals will allow to sell us their product so if you want to sell the products of amazon you can go to amazon affiliate network and you will register yourself and then you can sell their products yes policy bazaar is also one of them and if you heard about club factory club factory they do not have their website they have the application on mobile you can download the app and they will show you the products from amazon ebay many other uh, websites at one location and you can buy from there and then club factory will get the commission is it clear great thank you guys so we are going to do the affiliate marketing also yes benefit to benefit to customer there is not no benefit to customer benefit to you only that you are going to make money see customer is not losing anything or not gaining anything they have to pay the same amount 
but you can make money because you are promoting amazon yes they can do comparison yeah in uh, point in money point of view they they are not getting any discounts however coupon dunia is one of that they they offer discount or coupons which you can you can have the code and apply it and you can have the discount in that case it will help you yeah they do so okay now uh, the next is the affiliate we have done how you can work uh, you can work as a freelancer also by sitting at home you can work okay there are many websites like upwork elance guru freelance so dot com have you guys heard about upwork okay great so you can register yourself on upwork i'm going to tell you in a, in my later sessions like how you can register yourself on upwork elance and bid for the projects and work by sitting at home as freelancer and you can make good amount of money clear guys any doubt any doubt guys thank you sabya thank you ami so this is our whole content which we are going to cover in the sessions okay please ayushi go ahead dear any want this session to be repeated niru you want to uh, okay thank you palvi uh, you want this session to be repeated you can attend uh, my other session any uh, like other demo session okay yeah i know you joined late niru you can attend my other session demo session uh, you can i'll you can speak to nisha for a future demo session she she is going to schedule we will be knowing in brief about all these three segments in the class yes we are going to explain each of this uh, segment and topics in class in detail not in brief yeah. any approximate date in next week only we are going to have it yes course fee is 90 7500 right now but it is going to increase 9500 uh maybe next week from next week or other week yes yes i i'll ask anisha to uh, get in touch with you for the other session yes you are going to learn everything which is mentioned here see we are going to really help you for the placements and that really depends on you also sabya how you uh, you know passionately learn this course and hard work at your end and practice at your end because see i'm going to give you 2 hours right and you need to practice it at your end and then definitely if you learn it properly you are going to crack the interview we can send you for the interviews right hope you are getting my point sabya okay great so what we are going to give you is website domain free for for one year hosting free for one year and one paid theme wordpress okay placements would be in any city okay uh, we will help you where are you right now where you are looking for actually clear palvi 
each topic covered in brief. Yes. Yes, Kayo. So we are going to have classes on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And it's an approximately 20 hours course and this uh, will be finished within, within a month because we are going to have three classes in a week. Yes, definitely you will be able to work as a freelancer after completing this course. Because in many uh, projects that is on SEO, PPC, we are going to tell you nitty gritty of SEO and PPC, which will help you in bidding the projects and getting the projects. Content marketing is covered basically. Yes, content plays a vital role and it's a part of the SEO. Uh, yes, you need a laptop for the class because you are going to log in from your laptop, Ayushi. Yes, we are going to provide you certifications from Google. There, there will be five certifications from Google and one from HubSpot and another from DMP. Five certification Google will include like Google Analytics, Google AdWords, Shopping, Mobile, and one more is there. There will be five in total. Any other doubt? Yes, you can start earning with your blogs also. Okay, thanks for the class. Till now, I was absolutely blank about digital marketing. Thanks. Thanks, Ayushi. Hope it is fruitful for you. Uh, just to say. Yes, KU, you will be able to earn money by working as a freelancer. That uh, Sabya, uh, that really depends how uh, informative or how fresh is your blog. Yes, thank you. Hope you all find this session fruitful. So this only online. Yes, this is only online will happen. Sabia, we have face to face also, but I don't know from where you are. Can we domain and hosting in this course? Yes, we are going to give you domain and hosting free in this course for one year. What is the average salary people draw if they get job? If you are a fresher, then you will start with uh, 15 to 20 K per month. If you are a fresher and but that will go up to lakhs. If you become expert, yes. Uh, no, we don't have a branch in Pune. Sorry, Sabia. You, we can do online in that case. We already have. We only have a branch in Delhi NCR, which is Delhi, Gaziabad, Noida, Vishali. Okay, Nehru, you are a content writer. You have been. 
with this field open your job options for me yes you can be into seo you can be into google ppc like running ppc ads social media marketing content writer you can we can like we can get in touch with uh, on whatsapp email sabia for any assignments for any questions for any queries we are there on whatsapp on email we will reply to e every email niru hope uh, i'm clear like you can be into seo you can be into ppc social media marketing you can run campaigns okay you can do email marketing you can be content writer there are many many options are available i'm going to tell you in my sessions you can be expert in ppc that is part of our course as you missed uh, the initial part so you might not be aware of the segments that we are going to cover yes we are going to give you some seo tools see if you know ppc you can design a complete campaign that is also a big opportunity like you know big companies hire people for yes yes definitely you can go into google analytics okay so yeah in ppc like you can have uh, like if you are working with big companies they design a complete campaign they run a big campaign for which runs throughout a year you know and there are so many things that need to keep doing like child testing is being done like whether one ad is working or not which through which are you are getting more clicks through which are you are getting more traffic to your website so you know that all analysis needs to be done based on which you are going to be you know to become ppc expert and then you get to know how you analyze each campaign it's pay per click ads pay per click ppc is pay per click okay all online world earn money from ad mostly exactly there are many opportunities in digital marketing i understand there are a lot of competition also but competition is there in all spheres you see okay guys any other doubt you have any other queries you have so we have ami kayur neeru palavi sabya sure neeru you can get in touch with uh, nisha first and you can inform her about the other session or preeti i don't know with whom you got to speak preeti or nisha is it possible to stable in dm without knowledge of website designing and developing yes it is definitely possible because uh, if you want to work as a freelancer ku then uh, you just work on seo and ppc or social media marketing or content manager mar uh, content writer for that you don't need to know the website designing or developing part without that also you can work okay
Okay, so shall we end this session now? Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, Ami. Thank you, Kayor. Thank you, Niru. Thank you, Palvi. Thank you, Sambia. Thanks for spending your time and attending this session. Hope this session has helped you out and brief you about what digital marketing is all about. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And I'm, I'll be looking forward to teach you guys more on digital marketing. And in case you guys have any further queries, then please get in touch with Preeti or Nisha. Hope you might already have their numbers. Sure. Thank you, Keo. Thanks for your feedback. Hope you hope everyone has enjoyed. Sure. Thank you, Amy. Thank you, everyone. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you, Palvi. Thank you so much. Good night, Neeru. Thank you. Thank you. Good night, Palvi. Good night, Amy. Bye, guys.